Hello everyone. This is our very first video on HTML. So day one, minute one. The first thing you're going to do is of course download brackets. So I have brackets up right here. Now I've already downloaded it. You don't need to, um, I, I don't need to download it, but you do. So go ahead and download brackets. And I have brackets actually in my favorites down here at the bottom. So after you download brackets, uh, go ahead and open it and you're going to see I have some code here, but what you're going to do is make a new document. And we're going to talk about the basics of HTML. One of the very, very, very basics of web design in general is that we need everything to live in one folder. So, we, are, we made a new uh, file in brackets, and what I'm going to do is put in the basic tags are an HTML page, and yes, I did copy and paste this, but I want to discuss what HTML is, and then we'll discuss how to structure your website. Okay, so HTML is called a markup language. It is not a programming language, it's a markup language. What's the difference? Well, a markup language actually just tells you how the page should look. It tells the browser, rather, how each page should look, and how should it look? Well, what defines that? Tags. All right, so for example, this tag here, the title tag, defines the title at the top of your browser. It is invisible. The tags themselves are invisible on your page. What's in between the tags is what's vis is, it is, blah, sorry, what is visible on your page. Okay, so for example, this is an H1 tag that stands for heading one. So this my first heading here will be in heading one. And you're gonna see how that looks in just a little bit. But for right now, I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna do a save as, and we're gonna make our first web page, which we're calling the one pager. Now I'm saying I want everybody to save their websites on the desktop or at the root level of an external hard drive, perhaps. And what I mean is I don't want them in documents, web design, um, I don't want them in a real complicated place. I want you to put them where you can easily find them. So for me, that is gonna be the desktop. So I'm gonna do save as, and then I'm going to make sure I'm on the desktop. I'm gonna make a new folder. So that new folder is going to be called one page site. And if I can spell page correctly, that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? All right, so the name of my first web page is always going to be index.html. And the reason for that is because the browser is constantly looking for a page called index.html in order to, because it sees that as the first page in your website. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save. Notice I'm saving into one page site and the name of this page is index.html. So we want all of our websites to be structured that way. Put it in a folder, put it in a folder where you know the right, you can find it quickly. Don't overcomplicate your placement of the folder with way, you know, dimensions and dimensions inside your hard drive. And save your first page as index.html. Ta-da! All right, so here we have in brackets our working document, index.html, and you can see I have a couple other things here. But we're just going to look at this and break it down piece by piece. All right. There are a lot of different versions of HTML. We are using HTML5. HTML5 is the latest version. It's supported by all browsers. Uh, there are some aspects of it that are not supported by Internet Explorer previous old versions. So we're going to get to that later. We're not going to worry about it for right now. It's supported by all modern browsers and has been for some time. Okay, so this very first tag here is exclamation point doc type HTML. And what that tells the browser is, hey, guess what? An HTML page is about to start. Then we have our second tag, HTML. And that tells the browser, hey, uh, we're starting an HTML page here. We're starting a web page here. All right, now I want you to notice something else. These tags are, I've got one at the beginning. I'm opening a web page. And I have slash HTML down here at the bottom. I am closing a web page. So this pair of tags is opening and the closing of my web page. The browser knows, hey, I'm starting a web page. Hey, I'm ending a web page. So these are absolutely crucial. 
and they are known as the opening tag and the one with the slash is known as the closing tag. What you open, you must close. So all tags, with the exception of a few, will have an opening and a closing tag. In other words, they will have a version of the tag that's just normal, and the closing tag will have a slash in front of us, denoting that we are now closing this tag, we're ending whatever it is that item represents. Okay, so I want you to notice something else about this. This encloses the entire document. Now that makes sense, right? Because we're opening an HTML page, a new web page, and now here at the very end we're closing that page. So that is actually known as nesting. And you're going to see examples of nesting all over this very, very short HTML document. Okay, but this is our first item in the nest. Opening, closing. Now, head. What is head? Head is what is at the top of the browser window. It's not visible on your web page at all. And it's also used for things like links to style sheets, links to meta tags, links to Google fonts, etc., etc. So this head tag, here, look at this. I have an opening tag and I have a closing tag. And they are nested within HTML and closing tag for HTML. So that's known as nesting. Nesting is uh, something that is sometimes a little hard for people to understand in the beginning, but that's okay. You're going to get it as time goes on. Okay, now within that, no, that's so that's a nest right there. Nice nest, like little birdies. Now we have head and the closing tag for head. And remember, head can hold a number of invisible things. And the most important invisible thing it holds is the title of your page. So we're going to title this page, My First HTML Page. Okay, so we now have a nest of three. HTML. Nested within that, we have the head tag for invisible things within your website. Nested within that, we have the title tag, which is displays the only thing that's visible on your page so far, which is my first HTML page that'll be on the top. All right, so that's the beginning of your HTML page. Now notice I have a second tag here, body. Body is everything on your web page that is going to be seen. So in other words, all your tables, all your articles, all your sections, all your headings, all your text, all your pictures, all of that is going to be contained within and nested within the body tag. And right here I have something very simple. Okay, my first heading. We're going to change that up to Greenville University Panthers. All right, so H1 is a headline tag. It's the largest. It comes, there's a H1 through H6, and they're all progressively smaller. So H1 is the largest heading. H6 is the smallest heading. And you can refer to the PowerPoint for some other different tags. P, very important tag. So this denotes a paragraph. Opening it, closing it. What we open, we must close. So we're going to go ahead and type some text for a paragraph. So Greenville University is a NCAA Division III school, and we have a number of different and winning teams. That's my first paragraph. So I use the closing tag to indicate that I'm closing the paragraph. I use the closing tag here to indicate that I'm closing that heading. So let's do, let's first of all save this. And now let's preview it. So you can preview over here. I have to warn you in advance that the brackets preview can be a little funky. So sometimes I will preview it in a, a browser like Chrome or Firefox. But I'm going to go ahead and hit live preview. There it is. So here, here's the largest heading. Okay, let's change things up a bit, shall we? Let's make this an H2 heading. Ooh, look, I get a little error message here. That's because Brackets is smart and it doesn't want you to 
do mixed up tags. See? It's not happy until I give it the H2 heading. Okay, so paragraph tag, and we're gonna add, we're gonna start another paragraph. Okay, notice it trying to indent my code here, and notice it gives me the opening and the closing tag. That's kind of nice. Some of our teams include track, well, let's say football, football, basketball, track and field, soccer, and many more sports. Okay, so now we have a second paragraph, opening tag, closing tag. What you open, you must close. And all of this is nested within the body tag. All right, let's go ahead and refresh this page. Okay, like I said, sometimes brackets can be a little funky, so we're just gonna try that again. Oh, well, we're finding something out about brackets that's new. You have to save the page before you're going on, and then it's going to auto-update. Okay, so here it is, Greenville University Panthers. There's the H2 heading, and we have our two paragraphs, and they're separated. All right, so now you have a number of tags that we are going to use, and I'd like you to start working with that right now. I'll pause the video and start creating your web page and come back to it in a moment. All right, you're back, great. Okay, we're gonna discover something else about HTML. HTML tags can have what are known as attributes. Okay, for example, the A tag, look, it gives me the closing tag, how nice, denotes a link. Okay, a link to what? Let's say we're going to link to Google. How do we do that? Do we just type in www.google.com? No, we don't. We type in this, a href, ooh, it gives me code hints, how nice, equals, and then I put in the website I want it to link to. A href, href stands for hypertext reference, and that is known as an attribute, and notice it's green. And then we have www.google.com, and actually the correct syntax would be to put in http colon slash slash www.google.com and we enclose that in quotation marks. Now I'm going to save this. We're going to go ahead and refresh it and you're going to notice that nothing happens. Well, in spite of brackets sometimes being a little funky on the preview, look there's still nothing there. What do I need in between these two A tags? I've told the attribute tells me where the link should go, but in between those little A tags is what shows up on the page, the link. So I'm going to put in search Google. Okay, and you can see how terrible a typist I am. All right, search Google. Now let's save it. There it is. There's our link. Okay. So the moral of the story here for lesson one is HTML is a markup language that uses tags which describe how a web page should look and how it should be structured. The most important tags in HTML are your doc type, which tells it, hey, I'm starting a web page, the HTML tag, and what type our web page is, HTML, our closing tag for HTML, the head tag, a title, the body, without a body tag, we can have absolutely nothing on the page. Watch what happens when I delete the body tag. Goodbye. Let's save it. Let's preview it again. Nothing. So we must have a body tag in order for things to show up. So I'm just going to go back and undo that. Once we have a body tag, we have content that shows up on our web page because the body tag, everything that's in between the opening and closing body tags is what shows up on your page. All right, so we worked through a number of tags which are in the PowerPoint, the heading tags, the paragraph tags, ahref, and the image source tag, and you can now play with that at your leisure. Happy HTMLing. Bye till next time.